Welcome to the Power of Small. Today we're going to be discussing the problem with plastic. Right now, every day in the news, you're seeing all kinds of problems about plastics and how they're polluting our planet and are ruining our oceans and are filling our landfills with things that won't degrade for 10, 20, 50, 100, maybe even a thousand years. But the real reason for this isn't that plastics are bad or should be banned. Once we've used a plastic once, what do we do with it? I think the problem isn't the fact that plastics last a long time or the fact that they can be recycled. It's the limitations of the process. And I'll explain a little bit about that to you. You look at a product and you see this nice little recycling symbol on the bottom and you're encouraged to think, hey, that means that can be recycled into a new product. Well, it can, but there's a catch. What happens is, in order for a plastic to be recycled, you're going to take about 5%, maybe as much as 10% of the waste material. And you're going to grind it up. You've got to mix it with 90 to 95% virgin material. That means brand new plastic that you've got to be able to use in order to get that 5 or 10% recycled. So to get 100% new finished plastic parts, you've got to take 90 to 95% brand new virgin material, add it to 5 to 10% waste material. Clearly, that's not sustainable. And therein lies the problem. Let's say we're in a part of the developing world or in a rural area. Now, how are you going to bring all that virgin material there in order to recycle? Well, what you also need is pretty large infrastructure. A lot of recycling equipment can be anywhere from 20 to 40 feet long or longer. It can easily be 7 to 12 feet wide. And equipment like this often will consume, say, 220 volts three-phase power and say 200 amps. You need this kind of power, you need this raw material, and then you need a market for all of the products that's going to result. But the problem is, say you're in a developing country and you want to help people and you want to turn waste into things they need, like building materials, housing materials, dishes, or tables, or chairs and where plastic waste is available in large quantities, nothing can be done. Well, that's where our new technology comes in. Omicron Technologies has been able to develop a plastics recycling process that lets us take 100% waste plastic and convert it to finished goods. So if we're talking about a machine that is about six feet to eight feet long total, two feet wide, runs on 120 volts, 12 amps, single phase power, so normal household power, plugs in, uses as much power as say a household electric heater. And with that, we can convert about 10 to 15 pounds of waste plastic per hour into finished goods. We can go somewhere and say, hey, if you people will collect some waste plastic, we can make that into brand new roofing or siding material for you. This is an example of some samples we made that's just very narrow. We can make them two feet wide, three feet wide. Not too big. We can make it big, but again, you have to transport them and get them to where people need them. So now what we can do is in a place that's basically polluted by plastic, we can encourage people to bring that plastic waste in and literally for about half a gallon of fuel per hour, we can make 10 to 15 pounds of finished plastic goods and give them to those people. So now what we're able to do is give people a hand, a way of cleaning up their environment and creating goods they need. But you could say, okay, well, what if they don't need roofing or siding material? Well, we can, for instance, make plastic lumber, very durable lumber. We can make it solid. We can make it re recessed to use less material per foot, but we can easily recycle and manufacture good, durable building materials from 100% recycled waste. 
We can make it in any color. The very cheap way is to bring a little bit of carbon black and make, in fact, black goods out of it. We can also make big, heavy blocks. This block weighs about seven or eight pounds. And when it's remolded with our process, it's as strong and durable as the original virgin plastic was, but at a fraction of the cost. So you see, if we take plastic waste and reclassify it, so plastic waste, which was used just one time for packaging or for use for a product that now broke and has been discarded, if we take plastic waste and rethink it, instead now it is a plastic resource. And if you add Omicron to it and a small footprint and a modest amount of energy, you now end up with useful finished goods. The real solution to our plastic pollution is not to try and ban plastic, but reuse it. We've demonstrated in this process, by the way, that we've demonstrated recycling at least 10 times without any problems for PVC, for HDPE, for PET, for ABS. And our ongoing research is to define and refine this process for all other plastics. But some of the most popular plastics now are able to be recycled time and time and time again. So, as I say, we're going to convert plastic waste into a plastic resource. And that has a chance to transform the world. It provides the economic engine to allow us to afford to get rid of plastic pollution.